How can I learn Salesforce faster? What's up everybody? It's Kalen Moss, AKA the Minute Admin here. And I'm gonna answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, which is how can I learn Salesforce faster? So let's get to it. So first things first, I wanna take you to trailhead.salesforce.com because it's the free place to learn Salesforce. So I'm gonna show you how to learn Salesforce faster by going to Trailhead and learning some tricks on how to navigate Trailhead here. If you go to Trailhead, the first thing you really wanna do when you start learning how to be a Salesforce admin or like a business analyst or doing something in like Marketing Cloud or CPQ or Commerce Cloud or something like that, you'll need to know how to navigate Trailhead. You'll need to know which filters to pick so you can do the right trails, the right projects, and the right super badges. The first thing I wanna show you is how to pick your role here. So if you go to this admin role, like let's say you're trying to be a Salesforce admin, you'll click on this admin role, and then if you're an absolute beginner, you'll click this beginner role. So you see like there's 66 trails out of 208. Well, let me just click on this intermediate, and you have 39 trails. So I'm gonna click on this admin beginner here, and then what you'll wanna click is this admin beginner right here. So that'll take you to the admin beginner trail right here, and it'll show you all of these different, what you call modules right here. And then if you click on this little drop down arrow under a module, it'll show you the different units that you have to do for that module. So that's the admin beginner trail. And then we click on this admin intermediate and we filter that down and you go down to the admin intermediate trail. So I'll just scroll down to that and find it. So I'll click on this admin intermediate here and then the admin intermediate trail will show up here. And then you'll pretty much do the same thing. You'll click on admin and then you'll do the advanced filter right here and you'll go to the admin advanced trail. So make sure that you go and do the admin beginner, admin intermediate and admin advanced trail before you do anything else. Like you need to knock these out. This is what I did to learn all about the Salesforce administrator path. Like I did all of these, I did admin advanced, I did admin intermediate, and I did admin beginner. Now you can see that I have some of this admin beginner still left to do. I finished this 100%, but since I've completed it, there's been another module that's been added to it, which is this user engagement, and I need to do that, and then I'll have this module finished. So there's some stuff that gets added in. But that's what you wanna do. Make sure you knock those out before you do anything else so you can get a core foundation of the Salesforce platform if you do wanna go down that Salesforce admin route. The next way that I'll show you how to really like learn Salesforce faster is to go to the Salesforce administrator or whatever credential you wanna to go to. Go to that certification. Like literally you can just type into Google like Salesforce administrator certification, uh, marketing cloud email specialist certification, Pardot specialist certification, whatever you want, and then just click on that and it'll take you to the exam outline. So really quick, what you wanna do whenever you get to like, let's say you wanna learn to be a Salesforce administrator and pass that exam fast, then you'll wanna go to this page and you'll want to scroll down and you'll just look at the trail mixes here. So look at the trail mixes. A trail mix is basically all of these, like you can make a, a trail mix for admin beginner, intermediate, and advanced. You can add all of those, combine all of those into one trail mix, and that'll be a trail mix that you can practice. So there's this prepare for your Salesforce admin credential trail mix, which is 44 hours long. And then there's the study for admin certification exam, which is two hours and 35 minutes long. And then you'll also scroll down a little bit more on the certification that you're looking to get and you'll see like there's classes and workshops here. You could take a class, you could take a workshop here, and then you have the related credentials here. Now there's related credentials over here, which is probably not what you're trying to get just yet. Like if you're trying to become a Salesforce admin, you can't become an advanced admin until you become a Salesforce admin. So you're probably not interested in this top row just yet, but there are these super badges here. So you can come in and knock these super badges out and learn even more about the Salesforce admin path if that's the path that you're going down. You'll wanna make sure that you knock at least these three super badges out before you go and try to become a Salesforce administrator or you go to 
do the Salesforce administrator exam. And you'll just want to do this because you'll get more of an understanding about what it takes to be a Salesforce admin. Now, let's say that you were trying to get the platform app builder. You were trying to learn this faster. If you click on this platform app builder certification, it'll take you to the platform app builder certification page here. And you can see that there's this prepare for your Salesforce platform app builder credential. There's this uh, study for the platform app builder exam trail. So you have a trail mix and a trail here. Let's see if there's other skills like classes and workshops that you can attend. Okay, there's these four right here. And then if there's any related credentials, like these four super badges that are related to the platform app builder certification, you can go to these here. So really, honestly, like you, there's a lot of stuff on Trailhead, which I'm telling you first because you can go to Trailhead and learn all, all of this stuff for free. Like all of this stuff is on Trailhead, especially for the platform app builder or the Salesforce admin or the Salesforce advanced admin certifications. You can do all that on Trailhead for absolutely free. The next thing I want to show you is you can go to help.salesforce.com and you can look at documentation. So just go to help.salesforce.com and go to documentation. And then when you go to documentation, uh, you could just type in what you're searching for, like what you're trying to learn in this little search tab up here. And then you have all these top results right here. You can go to Salesforce Answers, the App Exchange, Articles, uh, Developer Areas, Training Areas, Ideas, Known Issues, and Videos. Help.salesforce.com is going to be a big help to you. It's been a big help to me. Like if you can't find something on Trailhead, you're probably going to be able to find it on the help.salesforce.com page here. There's absolutely no reason why you can't find most of the material for most of your Salesforce or all of your Salesforce questions as you're trying to learn Salesforce faster and just do it for free. Make sure that you go to Trailhead, make sure that you, you know, go and do the trails that you want to do. And the only way to really do that is just filter down, you know, by the role that you're looking for, or maybe even filter by the product. Like let's say you're trying to learn uh, marketing cloud then you would want to click on, you would want to unfilter everything and you'd want to click on marketing cloud as one of your products. And then you would just do all the marketing cloud trails. Now, what I will say is that you can go and you can do uh, a trail mix. Like if you wanted to find a marketing cloud trail mix, you'd click on trail mixes right here. And then when you're taken to trail mixes, you can click on discover trail mixes and then you can look at all trail mixes like you could click on show all right here and then you could go to uh, the trail mixes that you want to learn from and you could do a marketing cloud trail mix or whatever it was that you're trying to learn uh, so those are the fastest ways that I would say that you could learn like whatever platform you're trying to learn or whatever certification you're trying to get just make sure you know how to navigate through trailhead obviously there are other like online courses on Udemy that you can go to. But the first thing I would say that you should definitely do is do everything for free. I've been getting a lot of people asking me if they should also do, you know, other online courses or if they should take guided paths or programs. Those are completely up to you. If you want to do that, if you have to pay for those, you know, just that's up to you completely. There are some that aren't you know, there's some that are free that I'm sure you could get by being a vet. You could do Mervis, you could do Pathfinder, um, you could go to Revelant, you could do all types of things like that, which allow you to learn the Salesforce platform with specific trainers that are really qualified to go and teach you the Salesforce platform. So if you're thinking about doing another path, like if you're thinking about learning from somebody else, that's completely up to you. But I will tell you there are free resources like you can learn for absolutely free on Trailhead. And that's how I did it when I first started off in the Salesforce ecosystem. I just did everything completely free. I, you know, I didn't really have any money at the time. So I just had to just go in, grind, get the work done and just get after it. Uh, so like I said, it's completely up to you if you want to go and get extra training from somebody else. But the fastest way to really do it is just learn how to navigate Trailhead and just knock these trails out. Like it's going to be work either way. So just come in, knock out the admin beginner, admin intermediate, admin advanced. And if that's not what you're trying to do, which is like the Salesforce administrator certification, then just come to this learn tab and click on the trail or trail mixes 
and just look for the certification and filter that down based on the certification you're trying to get. So that's what I've got for you. That's how you can learn Salesforce faster. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Minute Admin videos. Thanks.